Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Story Lab. This week we're talking about patience while we take a look at the story of someone who found a sweet end to a long... Wait. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. We're talking about patience. Which is waiting until later for what you want now. Like dessert. Mmm, dessert. dessert. We're having a cookout this weekend, and Mom asked me to be in charge of dessert. Oh, well that's easy. Ice cream. Except it melts so fast outside. I present to you ice cream soup. Okay, not ice cream. What about those those sandwich cookies in the shape of an O and O? Mm, too boring. Hmm, way to crumble up my idea. I'm thinking of something more fun. You, you know, something interactive. Ah, okay, I'm with you now. Let's make it! Okay, what is the it we are making? Salt water taffy. Whoa, like the kind you pull? Yeah. That is seriously old school. We get to pull the taffy by hand instead of machine. Bring it on, let's pull. Hold on, we gotta make it. Oh. First, we add all of our ingredients to a large pot. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. One cup of light corn syrup. Three tablespoons of milk. Three quarters of a cup of water, two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of salt, about three or four drops of food coloring. Okay, ready to stir it up? Oh, wait, wait, we need to heat it up first. Oh. You'll need a grown up to help you heat up the mixture to boiling. Okay, now I stir. It looks so cool. Just just keep on stirring. Yes. You want to get it to that precise middle ground of, of the mixture and the heating. Uh-huh. Because that's what makes that nice stretchy taffy. Is it boiling yet? Um, I kind of see a couple bubbles. Uh, yes? Stop, stop stirring. Stop oh. stirring. Uh, no. What? Once the mixture starts to boil, you have to stop stirring or the sugar will crystallize. And then no smooth, chewy taffy. Now, we have to wait until the temperature reaches at least 250 degrees. Wait? How long is this gonna take? Oh, see, see, it's almost getting there. Oh, oh, it's oh, almost oh, at 250. Oh, oh, oh. What is it at? Almost. 245. Okay, okay, okay. 246. Uh, seven. Uh, nine. What? Uh, 250. Well, okay, what do we do? What do we do? Take this out. Okay, okay, okay. Turn it off. Turn it off. All right, all right. Now what? Now what? Now we put half on my pan and half on your pan. Okay, okay. Whoa. See that? Yeah. Huh. Mmm. Okay. And now we get to pull the taffy. Nope, we've got to wait for it to cool. You're kidding. All this waiting is gonna make me melt. Uh -huh. Is it time yet? Yes. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Whoa. Butter your hands first or you're gonna have taffy hands for days. Like that? Yeah. Ugh. Just rub it on your hands. Ugh. This feels so gross. Yeah, but you need it. Okay, now what? Now, let's go. Whoa. whoa. It just peels right off. Oh, <laughs> 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 
This is like a workout. It almost looks like a rope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're in my way. No, no, you're in my way. No, I'm, I'm no, just no, scratching it. It's kind of, <sighs> see, let me get right, right here. Wait, no, I, I kind of want to oh, go over here. Over there. Uh, I, got, I need a little bit more room. Okay, you, okay, you, 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 yeah, hold, hold this. Okay. Yeah, right here. Wait, wait, pull. No. Are you pulling? Yeah, are you sure? yeah I am. I'm as hard as I can. Oh. I got the butter okay, all over my hands. Pull from the floor. I'm slipping off. Hold on. All right, all right. We've been pulling these for a little bit. Is it done yet? Nope. We have to wait for it to turn light and fluffy. In order for taffy to become light and chewy, it must be aerated. Air bubbles are incorporated in the taffy through pulling it for 15 to 60 minutes. An hour? It, yes, not an hour. Probably like 15 minutes or probably longer. Oh. I may not survive this wait. I'll have a beard by then. Speaking of waiting, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today, we're in the book of Luke, one of the four gospels that tell the story of Jesus. But long before Luke, in the very beginning, God created an amazing, wonderful world, including us. Then, people turned away from God, and the world was broken. But God had a plan to restore us. God chose one man, Abraham, and promised to bless the whole world through his family. Over and over, this family, the Israelites, turned away from God. At last, they were attacked. Some were scattered and others were taken captive. But God never turned away from the Israelites. God promised, through prophets, to send a rescuer. For hundreds of years, the people waited and waited, and waited some more. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. God's people, the Israelites, were waiting through hundreds of years of rule by foreign nations. At last, the Romans took over. Though the Jewish people were free to worship God, they had to pay heavy taxes to Rome. They no longer had their own land and life was very difficult. And to top it off, there was no recorded word from God in all that time. Still, many of the people waited and hoped for God's rescuer. One of these people was a man named Simeon, who showed love for God and for others in everything he did. May the Lord bless you. As Simeon prayed one day, God's spirit spoke to him and told him, you will not die before you see the Lord's Messiah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. How amazing is that? After all those years of waiting, God spoke and promised Simeon that he would see God's rescuer before he died. Now, we don't know how old Simeon was when he received this promise, but we do know it did not happen right away. Simeon waited. When will this happen, Lord? And waited. Today, Lord? And waited. Maybe soon, Lord? And waited. Through all this time, Simeon appears to have waited patiently and with joy, trusting God's promise. Finally, one day. What about today, Lord? God's spirit prompted Simeon to go to the temple courtyard. Yes, Lord, right away. Simeon made his way as quickly as he could to the temple. And while he was there, someone showed up. Someone that you probably know about. Simeon saw Jesus. Now, at this time, baby Jesus was only eight days old, and Mary and Joseph had brought him to the temple so they could dedicate him to God. Please, may I hold your son? Praise God! I've waited for this day many years. We know our son is special. Lord, you are the king over all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. That is what you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the sight of all nations. It is a light to be given to the Gentiles. It will be the glory of your people, Israel. Simeon declared that Jesus is God's Messiah, that Jesus had come to rescue not only Jewish people, but everyone, everywhere throughout time. But Simeon knew that Jesus and his parents would face many difficult things. The Lord bless you. 
This child is going to cause many people in Israel to fall and to rise. God has sent him. Many people would love and follow Jesus, and many would not. In the end, Jesus would give up his life. But even then, God's plan wasn't finished because Jesus would be raised back to life. Now, Simeon didn't know exactly how the story would unfold, but he did know that every minute had been worth the wait. The end. So Simeon had to wait years, and so God's people had to wait hundreds of years. Whew. That's intense. I mean, I have a hard time waiting hundreds of seconds while the popcorn pops. In God's eyes, time is different. God made time. But God knows that waiting is hard for us and will be with us while we wait. So what's our part in the story? Whether you're waiting hours for ice cream or years until you're old enough for your own phone, God is with you while you wait. While you wait for the next book in the series to come out. While you wait for your broken leg to heal. Even while you wait for your mom to finally get off her Zoom call. And waiting time doesn't have to be wasted time. That's right. When you rely on God to help you wait well, God can actually grow you through the waiting. And God's Spirit can give you patience, peace, and joy while you wait. In fact, waiting is an amazing opportunity. When you stay close to God, you can use your waiting time to show the world what God is like. You can take the time to wait well by loving God and loving others. And by having a good attitude instead of grumbling. God has promised that no matter how long we have to wait, everything will be made right in the end for those who follow Jesus. So you can wait with hope. Even if it's just waiting for the popcorn to finally pop. Mmm, popcorn. Whew, now I'm hungry. See you next time. So, here's the thing. God is with you while you wait. Even if you get very hungry while you wait. Now, is it done? Except for the final step. <sighs> Take these and you twist them. And then you snip. Oh. Worth the wait? We'll see. Oh, yeah. But now I can't wait for more. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See, see you next, next time. time. Well, this is really good. Oh, mm. This is so much of this. It's like a flavorful rope in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Mm. Your plans, your dreams are so much greater. Your timing, you keep, it's always better. So when I'm feeling weak, your strength is always perfect. So I'm holding on. Cause I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting, I'm waiting I'm gonna keep on waiting With my whole side and you God I'm gonna trust in you And while I'm waiting I believe that you are never me I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting, I'm waiting I'm gonna keep on waiting With my whole side and you God I'm gonna trust in you And while I'm waiting I believe that you are never me Don't wanna jump too soon